In this video, we're going to go over the IronCAD 3D scene. The IronCAD 3D scene is the main design environment inside of IronCAD. One of the unique things about the IronCAD 3D scene is that it allows you to have as many parts and assemblies as you'd like inside of one document. In other 3D CAD systems, you're usually required to keep each part in a separate file. That's not the case with IronCAD and its 3D scene. Uh, for example here, we'll just go ahead and open up a file and uh, show you the uh, general structure. With the file open, you'll see now that we have a basic assembly uh, in our 3D scene. And if we go over to the scene browser, we can expand the assembly and you can see that there's a variety of parts and sub-assemblies, again, all contained within the one file. This makes file management a lot easier within IronCAD than in other similar 3D design systems. However, another benefit within IronCAD is we actually do allow you to save your uh, parts and assemblies to other files and link them together, similar to what you would see in other systems. The key here is that within IronCAD you have the choice as to which way you want to work, which gives you a bit more flexibility when uh, working on large assemblies. For example, here if we want to save this uh, sub-assembly out, we can simply select it, go to the file menu, and say save as part assembly. Some of the other nice features of the 3D scene is that you can quickly hide geometry uh, from the view so you can uh, reduce the amount of uh, information that you have to look at while you're working on your design. To hide a part, you simply select it and click on it with the right mouse button and then choose hide and that'll hide the part. If you want to bring everything back, you simply right click on the, on the scene background and then choose show all and this will show all the parts that are inside of the, inside of the scene. Another option for showing hidden parts is to go to the scene browser. You'll notice that the part we hid is now uh, slightly grayed out inside of the uh, browser. So what we can do is just right click on that icon and then do the and then select the show selected item and that'll show the uh, part that was previously hidden. The scene also contains all the constraints that may have been applied to the design. So you see here in the scene browser we can open up the constraints portion and see all the various uh, constraints that are in the design. You will also notice that there's a camera section, and if we expand that, you'll see there's actually seven cameras set up inside of the 3D scene. Now, the cameras are hidden by default, so if you want to see the cameras, you simply go to the Visualization tab, then click on the Edit Camera drop-down, and in the, in the menu that appears, click on Show Cameras. And this will show you all the cameras that are available that are currently inside of the scene. With the cameras now showing, I can actually se select a camera, and I can move it around the scene if I want to change the angle or I can right click on the camera and say look through camera and that will show me exactly what that camera is looking at. If you want to undo a camera action you don't click the undo button as the undo button is used for undoing uh, commands related to modeling. To undo a camera you just go down to the bottom of the screen uh, where all your camera controls are and click the undo camera option. Another thing that you can show inside of your 3D scene are your light sources. And to do that again, you would go to the Visualization tab and then click on the Show Lights drop-down and choose the Show Lights command. This will now show you the lights that are available on the scene. By default, there are five lights. And again, you can click on these lights and drag them around to change the lighting of the, uh, of the uh, scene. You can, you can also insert new lights by simply going again to the Visualization tab, clicking the Show Lights drop-down and clicking Insert Light. To insert a light, just select the command and click on the model where you want the light to be focused on. Then the, then the uh, light wizard will appear. Just to select the default values and you have your new light. Here we've added a spotlight. One of the key things with the 3D scene is the usage of the right mouse button. And that will give you quick access to various commands. You can see here, we, if you right click on the scene background, it brings up the menu. And you can do things such as splitting your views. Um, you can uh, show, uh, show all parts as we had shown earlier. And then again, you have quick access to various things like say you want to change the background image, you can select background. Um, if you want to toggle the realistic rendering settings, you can adjust those. For instance, we've selected the show option in the, in the right click menu and that takes us again to this area where you have uh, quick access to things that you'd like to show or hide inside of the actual uh, 3D scene. You can see here there's quite a lot of different uh, things that are available for showing or hiding. So if you're trying to find something um, inside of the 3D scene, uh, definitely consider right-clicking on the scene background and selecting the Show option, 
and then you'll be able to see uh, what things can be uh, shown or hidden. Say you did want to see the uh, uh, coordinate system, you can simply select show that option and then you'll see it become available in the 3D scene in the scene browser. And then uh, just expand that and you have your standard planes, uh, your X, Y, X, Z, and Y, Z planes. Uh, by default we don't have these on uh, because we find that uh, most people design without the need of them. Uh, but if you're coming from a traditional 3D system and you want to, you want to work with the planes, they're there available for you. And with that, we're at the end of the video that has highlighted some of the uh, unique features of the IronCAD 3D scene to hopefully get you up and running uh, very quickly with this uh, 3D design package.